So let's let's take a look like at 2023 and let me know kind of the, the key reasons why veterinary practices didn't do well in 2023 with regards to new patient flow. Absolutely. I think the whole podcast is about looking at five reasons why the ones who struggled struggled. And hopefully if you can unpack those and if you are making any one of those five mistakes, all five or two of five, then perhaps you could do something differently in 2024. This podcast is getting published early on in the year. So hopefully uh, you have a whole year to work on it. So let me first rattle them off, Ryan, and then we can go in the, you know, in depth into each Sounds one great. of them. Yeah. The very first mistake that veterinary practice owners are making is not understanding the veterinary buyer's journey, you know, the pet owner's journey. In other words, how does a pet owner go, go about selecting a veterinary practice to call their permanent home? What's that journey like? So when you don't understand it, you can't win the game, right? If you don't understand the game, how do you win that game? You don't understand. 